What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the final predicted 11 of the season. Ahead of this Sunday's game against Everton, I'm joined with James. James, how are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'll always be excited to, <coughs> to watch Arsenal. Mm. I'll always be excited to come here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be at this game. Um, In your new top? Maybe. <laughs> It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. No, it, um, it, is, it is nice. Yeah. This is the first. This is the first game of the season, though. That I'm just like, ugh. and actually, that might sound like an obvious thing to say, but we still have that very, 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 very unlikely hope that Spurs lose at Norwich hmm. and Arsenal nick it by beating Everton. But with that being such a slim possibility, I, I really am going to this to just sort of. Enjoy it? I just just enjoy football yeah. and because I love my football club and yeah. and actually I suppose to show support to the team that listen for for everything that's gone wrong this season I put very little on it on the actual group yeah. involved um, I think a lot of them have handled themselves admirably throughout the season so um, yeah yeah sorry siren I thought maybe we picked up another injury <laughs> but um, that's what we're going to talk about. You know, who's actually available for this game? Hundred percent. And I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't want to be doom and gloom. I know. Listen, I was at Newcastle. I think I've had my morning time of just, um, you know, mourning the, the loss. <coughs> but I don't want to be doom and gloom. I, I, I'm with you, and I'm happy you came here and said that. He's, you know, you're going to go there on Sunday and just be there to support the boys. I think that's the only right, right to do and the right thing to do. And it's the end of the season. And even though we may, we're probably unlikely to get top four. You know, there's there's still a lot to look at and be and be proud of, of what we've seen this season. Um, so yeah, let's just go into kind of what we're gonna do and what we're gonna what you wanna see, what I wanna see, and what we think Mikarteta is gonna go with. You know how this goes. I always start with you. Yeah, but this is this is the hardest one yet. Re oh come on. No, I tell you, uh, come not, on. not because of what's on the line. I've got I've got no idea. Is Ben White all right? I mean he got through the ninety, <laughs> but I think he was playing that whole game on the back foot, if that mm. makes sense. I don't think he ever really looked like he was I think I don't the whole team was like that against Newcastle, if I'm honest. We didn't really cause any threat. It was camped in our heart. No, but I mean with White, he looked like he wasn't <coughs> sprinting me. and he wasn't at his full on. He, he just didn't look fit. Yeah. He just didn't look fully fit. Even though, despite his own goal, I actually thought he did okay in the game. I thought him and Gabriel were the only two mm. who really stood up to it. And actually, without them, it, it might have been a lot worse. Do you think he's playing under injury? Or do you think many of them are playing with slight injuries i think white was definitely playing with not an injury just a discomfort i don't think it was fully there um starting goal ramsdale obviously um i think if this game was fully done as in i think yeah. if it was mathematically impossible you <coughs> might see an appearance for leno just mm. as a thank you for what he's done the last four years or whatever it is right um yeah uh, ramsdale keeps his place tommy asu doesn't look fit to me cedric comes in then i think rob holding's gonna start you know, he's not had injury issues. It's just the suspension. Is this what from... you want to see? Oh, you think? Yeah, God, this yeah. is what we're... <laughs> you know what Arteta was um... You're going to be here Sunday. Who do you mm. want to see play? It's final game okay. of the season, James. Okay, I want to see White and Gabriel, but that is fitness permitting. Right. If neither of them are fully fit, then there's no point risking it. Um, White and Gabriel, fine. White oh. and Gabriel. Yep. Tavares. Yep. So to recap, Ramsdale, Cedric, White, Gabriel, Tavares. Um... El Neni, Xhaka, Saka, Odegaard, um, ooh, it's a tough one. I'm going to say, I'm going to controversially say Smith Rowe on the left and Martinelli up front. Oh, you're that's, close that, to mine. That's what I'd like to see. Close to mine. That's what I'd like to see. And, and that's not really on in Ketir's performances. I just think... I still believe Martinelli can do a job out up there. I still believe at some point we've got to see this. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Smith Rowe wasn't great against Newcastle, but I think he deserves an opportunity on the left. I think he, he's got a better understanding with Tavares. I still maintain that despite it not going brilliantly against Newcastle. And um, yeah, it means Martinelli can, can get out front and show us what he can do, get more involved, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. What about you? What would you um, do? Very similar, actually. Uh, Ramsdale in goal, right back Tommy Yasu, um, Ben White and Gabriel, left back uh, in the centre back pairing, left back Tavares, centre midfield um, pairing in defensive mid, uh, Ajaka and El Neni mm -hmm. on the right, Saka. So I keep coughing. <coughs> Martin Odegaard in the ten. On the left, I would like to see 
I think it's, it's, it's the same as yours, isn't it? Most you say Mill Smith Rowe and, the left, and Martinelli. Martinelli. Yeah. yeah, it's the same as just that's very frustrating. Um, yeah, same as you, but I would like to see NK get some minutes towards the end. But I wanted to um I want to see them because for the service they did this season. I know a lot of fans will be upset that we didn't make it to the top four, but they deserve if I was there going to watch the game, I'm not gonna be there, I'm gonna be obviously in the studio. I'd wanna see the players that that really had a big impact in the season. That's not grind to NK. Of course he did have impact in the final end of the season, but <laughs> over the whole season, those are the players I think really did contribute and I'd like to see them. I think they deserve deserve to be out there and playing for this club and getting, you know, the lap of honour at the end. I still went and watched Newcastle and they were playing for their home crowd, their mm. final game of the season at St James's. They had all the flags out there and full voice the fans and the players clearly wanted to go out with a bang and they did the lap of honour after and it was, it was, it was, it was nice to see, you know, it wasn't my club, it was nice to see the connection there. And I really want that if I was there, and I know you're going to be there, I want that for you that going to the game, the Arsenal fans, obviously at the, the last home game of the season, to see those players and enjoy, enjoy that moment. Um, I don't think Mikel Arteta will go with that because obviously he'll probably take it more serious and, and there is still a slight hope <laughs> that we can get top four if, if Tottenham lose. Well, well Arteta's, nice Arteta's, that's Arteta's issue is that he's got, to, he's got to do everything he can to win this game mm. in case there's something to capitalise on. Now, I know the, the rhetoric from us has been, it's over. We've been doing, you know, Turk and I did the rating, the, the, the season, uh, the rating the signings um, from last summer. That feels like a very much end of season show because it feels that way to us. It feels like, right, it's fifth and it's done. But Arteta can't prep oh, the yeah, boys in that way. He's got, to, he's got to make them believe, go for everything in case, in case something goes your way. Maybe Spurs get a man sent off. Maybe Pukki has the game of his life. And I, I will say this one thing. If you're Norwich, I know you're down, but I wouldn't say they put up a fight staying up, but from when Dean Smith came in, much better side. Yeah. Much better side. We were picking up wins. Did they get a draw at Wolves the other day? Yeah. You know, I could see in the Norwich groups are thinking, hold on, everyone thinks it's going to be a complete walkover and let's show them it's not. But where it gets tricky for Arsenal is a draw's not enough. Right. A draw's not enough. We need them to lose. And that's what I think makes it impossible. If you'd said to me, if you'd said to me, uh, you know, a draw and then a win for Arsenal and we leapfrog him, say we got a point in Newcastle, I said, you know what? I've seen crazier things. But, you know, for, for, for Norwich to win, that's, that's a big ask. Yeah, for them to um, win and then also we have to obviously win here as well, which some yeah. may say that's also an ask as well. Um, Everton obviously fight us for, um, to stay out of relegation. Yeah, and we so. don't know if they'll, be, if they'll be safe by that point. So, yeah. That, that's another that's another, another you know, layer to all to, this. Yeah. I, I think I think he'll go strong. Should we go through for his eleven? Yeah. So I, I don't think he's going to take <laughs> any risks like he did the last game with White and Gabriel. So he goes back to the Rob Holding point. So yeah, Ramsdale keeps his place. Cedric yeah. comes in um, for Tommy Asu, I think, is injured, and then I think he goes Rob Holding and I'm going to say Ben White because Gabriel came off in the Newcastle game. Right. Now it could be he took Gabriel off to protect him, and make sure he's fit, and then ever and then uh, White doesn't play the Everton game. Actually, now that I've said that out loud, I think that might be. What do you think? Which I don't know. Well, I mean, he, he did Gabriel off, didn't look injured, did he? No, he came off at Tottenham though as well, and he, that was there was. A, but he came straight back in. Yeah, and he played quite well. I, do you, I changed my mind. I, I think he'll be holding Gabriel. Okay. What do you think? I think more Gabriel than than will be playing over Ben White. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think because he came straight back in, like you said. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, against Newcastle, this cough. Um, been going around. Against Newcastle, I think yeah, I think it'd be more Gabriel, but then Tavares, um, back out on that left back position. Yeah, also, Tavares yeah. for me. Then obviously Jacker um, and Elneny in there. Yeah, I mean, I wonder whether he might. What look? Yeah, and why, whether he might think Lukonga. Um, if you're going to put Lukonga, you might as well put Pepe in there, but that's not going to happen either. It must be. I think it's a bit harsh on Lukonga. I mean, I think Lukonga's actually come in and done a real job for the first team on a few mm. occasions. But we haven't seen him at all. I agree with that. We haven't seen him yeah. at all until that stage. No, no, no like you're right. He'll play on any and Shaka. I just wonder. <coughs> I wonder. Um, then I think he'll go. Uh, I think he'll go Saka, Erdegaard, mm -hmm. Martinelli, and Nketiah. I don't. I think Smith Rowe. I, I know it wasn't his fault, and I know a lot of people were really poor that day. Smith Rowe really wasn't great against yeah. Newcastle. Um, and I think that will just tempt him to stick with Martinelli, which has worked for most of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, 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 always, I've always gone with um, Martinelli, I think, over Smith Rowe. And that's, that's no disrespect to Emile Smith Rowe. He's come off the bench, scored many goals for Arsenal, being, again, another key player. 
mm-hmm. um, in, in this season, but I think Martin... You're right there, to... choking up. <laughs> I'm so... People, it's been an emotional forgive season, me, right? it has been a tough season. <laughs> that last predict 11, yeah, it gets to you, you know. <laughs> this flu has just hit me out of nowhere. Um, yeah, flu, maybe it's that, yeah. listen, I get hay fever as well, yeah. but... Um, yeah, that, that was season a bit, flu. It was a bit emotional just yeah, talking there about yeah, Martin Lilly and Milson Pro. <laughs> yeah. It really sometimes gets to me, it gets me choked up. But um, big up the boys. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, you know, yeah, I think Martin Lilly will start. I've always been an advocate for Martin Lilly over Milson Pro towards yeah. the latter end of the season. And I think that's the right decision, especially for Mikel Arteta as well. I think you're right there, he's going to make that decision if he wants to take this game serious and get the win. So, yeah, and Eddie and Ketia. Yeah, he, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to start. I mean, he, I don't think his contract's been decided whether he's going to re-sign or, or get an extension or if he's going to move on after this season. Obviously, his contract's up. But I, I don't expect him to change it. I don't expect to see Lacazette I think, in there. I think Eddie's off. I think Eddie's off because he'll play because he's been playing recently yeah. and, and Arteta will see him leading the line as our best chance of scoring goals and winning this game. But I think if we've got Champions League football, I think there's a couple of players who might have signed on as squad players yeah, and, thought, and thought there's a bigger... Picture. project that yeah, we yeah. can be a part of and fight for our place in. I, I think Elneny's in that as well. I think another year of Europa League football, they'll be thinking, do I really want to be a squad player? Because that's what they will be ultimately for a team that, do you know what I mean? It's different. It's different it's, it's, when it's, 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 like, it's, look at City and Liverpool, right? it's different when you're a squad player, but you might pick, you know, winners, cup winners medals and you might be in a title race and you're going to play your part in all that, but playing your part in a, in a Europa League run, I don't think I'll be that, that, that bothered. There, so, there, there's a flip side yeah. to it, James, that, you know, that they, the players might realise, you know, the Cronkays may not go as big as we expect in the summer and there might be more opportunity to play because there'll be more fixtures. Depend on, it kind of depends on, as a player, what other clubs are looking at you. So, because... Uh, yes, but they've been doing that for years at Arsenal. It's true. El Nenny and, and, and Katty have been the... Europa League fillers for yeah. for years. It's not just them. There's a few. Rob Holding. I mean, I, I think, and I, I'll give them credit for stepping in and lifting us when it looked like top four was gone, and a lot of their performances dragged us back into it. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think we're going to see a lot of final appearances here, and I think that's what this game is going to be more than anything. It's going to be a yeah, it's going to be a final appearance for players who've actually been there a long time. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, well, that is what we believe mm. uh, Mick Arteta is going to go with and our thoughts and feelings. Do you want to just run through yeah. just to finish up? So, a reminder, we think Arteta it's going to be Ramsdale. Ramsdale in goal, Cedric holding Gabriel Tavares, yep. El Neni Xhaka, yep. Saka, Saka Martinelli, Odegaard, Martinelli, Martinelli and Nketiah. And there that is go. what we think Mick Arteta will go with. Would you be happy to see that this Sunday in the stadium? I'm pretty indifferent. I will be honest. I, and I'm sorry, I know with every game you should have hope and should always believe, but yeah. I think you should always, yeah, you should always believe and have hope and all that. But I'm, this is the one I'm just quite indifferent about. Okay. I'm just like, but then if Norwich win one 0 and we've drawn at home to Everton, <laughs> it'll be a melt, it'll be a complete yeah. meltdown if that happens. By the way, if if Norwich really do win here in North, do you London, know what? If- Sorry, no. Let me give you a proper proper answer to that. Go on. The if Holding comes in, I imagine it's injury related. Yeah. Um, and then otherwise the rest of that team, I'm pretty fine with. I, I'd be okay with that. I, I, I wouldn't want to see him do anything too crazy, like Cedric at left back, so White can come in at right back, or or, or overthink it. Just go with a sensible eleven, players in their positions, and let them try win the game. Perfect. Okay. Well, listen. Thank you all for watching. Like this video if you have liked this video. Apologies again for the emotional side coming out of us. <laughs> Us. Me, sorry, me in this video a tear in his eye. gets a bit emotional. <laughs> Last final predicts 11 until the, se- the next season. But thank you for watching. If you're new here, subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know we've uploaded. And we'll see you very soon. Take care. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.